Welcome to Pacifico, Sargao Island in the Philippines. So I live a three minute walk from this beach where I surf every day. That's actually my friend Jan surfing and he's got the whole ocean to himself today. And I moved here because an influencer said you could rent a home for $120 a month. I was looking for a better lifestyle for lower cost of living and I found myself here in paradise. I'm going to share with you the real cost of living for hostels, homes, rentals, land, haircuts, surfing and much much more. At the end of this video you'll have a good idea if you want to try this yourself. So let's get going. Oh, oh, you good? No, you can do it on the, yeah. No. Here's a sample of lot, the land that's for sale. And these are my new friends I just found today. How do you like yeah, the Philippines? I'm gonna drink all day long. Uh, pretty good. Yeah. Pretty nice. Pretty I really like it. Nice. I'm sticking out. <laughs> I would say there's two drawbacks to living here on the island. Is untouched it's almost untouched okay so the first thing i do when coming to a new country is i find a hostel and there's two regions i'm going to talk about these hostels were absolutely amazing and i had so much fun and i highly recommend if you're going to a new country you start with the hostel first get to know the people locals and tourists and then move into maybe a more long-term house later so this hostel is in a location on Sargao called General Luna. General Luna is tends to be more busy. There's uh, it's much more popular spot on Sargao, and I met these two ladies, Sierra and Lara, who wanted to spend lots of time with me. So I was fortunate to make friends right away. So easy to make friends at a hostel, and it's a really great way to start off a visit to a new country. You can see there's people working here. This is a workspace in the hostel. The hostel is called Happiness. This is the bunk here, so it's very private. There was only four people to a room and it was around $20 a night. So a lot of times there was a communal kitchen in the hostel as well. You can see uh, Sarah and Lara were making me dinner here and they were from Germany and they were um, just fantastic. The whole vibe in the hostel was, was just amazing. And I mean, everybody was friendly. I met such incredible people and it's such a great way to um, get yourself oriented. Food generally cost in General Luna a little more than other parts of the island. It was probably paying around 500 pesos, 400, probably 300 to 500 pesos uh, a meal. Even got These girls even got me out to go to a club, which I haven't done in a long time. There's a huge nightclub. There's a huge nightlife, party life. I don't know how they got me out. I just wanted to go for one drink and it ended up for a couple more. There's a party every night for those that love to party. And um, if you don't want to party, there's lots of people like that too. Like there's a real mix of different types of people that you run into. The only drawback from General Luna and the popular surf spots here is the crowd. This is at 5 a.m. and we would take a boat out to the surf spot. And it was, uh, we had a, a guide and you can see us there in the boat there's just the three of us and there was nobody else on the water at 5 a.m it was fantastic a few more people showed up around six and seven but it definitely wasn't crowded and it was incredible surfing the waters were calm and we had slow peeling uh waves so it was really good for beginners and intermediates and then we had breakfast right after and I, like i said breakfast and lunch were usually around 300 to 500 pesos sometimes we do yoga where it's facing the ocean. This was a, at the hostel as well for anybody who wanted it. Yeah, and make sure that you watch where you're stepping if you come here because there is sea urchins and I learned the hard way. Um, luckily, um, it healed up the next day when I went back in the ocean. If you do step on a sea urchin, the best thing for it is lime juice and then just go back in the ocean. So this is such a quiet area. This is called Pacifico, which is an hour north of general luna we're crazy the amount of people you'll meet in general luna like it's hard to balance the partying and the work i was having to be a stick in the mud and say no no i have to work i have to work as a digital nomad and you're still working you have to kind of balance that a little bit i think i like it out here because it's quiet it's so remote it's on trees ocean and a few small homes scattered across the main road there's a little village but everything's walking distance surfing's walking restaurants are walking distance there's a little market down the road where I can go buy some groceries. This is Matthias and Matt from <laughs> Wales. We are about to have the, what has, what's it called again? Uh, Chicken Chow Gao Express. I probably spend about 700 pesos a day on meals. It smells good. What's that? It is, oh, I put the onion. 
Oh, that looks amazing. What is that? Fish? I'm gonna come back. How are you? Yeah. Laundry. Yeah, yeah. So we kind of like to do the laundry. We do the laundry, and then we just went surfing, so we're gonna have dinner. And then we kind of like um, they do our laundry for us as well. It's kind of like they do everything for us. Hey. Who's this? I got yeah, I'm just making a YouTube video. <laughs> okay, wait, hi. maybe when the wind is coming here, hi. you can smell it. Is this oh, yeah. your friend? Oh, friend of yours? Oh, it's like when they have food. Yeah, she looks good with a piece of Aww. What are those? What are these? Banana? Char barbecue banana? And then what do you put on it? What is that like sweet? Sweet? Um, Spicy. Mandarin. Oh, mango yes. in. Mandarin. Ah, okay. Those look good. I don't have any cash on them. Yeah, neither do I. Maybe when I come back after surfing, I'll get one. Okay. Okay. Like this is traditional Filipino called. It's called pen pensit. 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 Oh, and we got. So um, how do you say it? Grape soji. Grape soji. It tastes like uh, grape juice and 14% alcohol. It's like Korean wine. It's really, really good. <laughs> now this island, now there's 7,000 islands to choose from. So there's a lot to explore. This island is um, a touch pricier than some of the other islands when it comes to cost of living, when it comes to rentals, home rentals. I found an apartment to rent that was around 200 US a month. It was like a bachelor apartment. Comes with a bed, AC, a desk, uh, you know, just basic, basic stuff. Homes, I haven't found any uh, homes to live in yet. Okay, so this is my hostel in Pacifico at the moment. It's absolutely amazing. Probably the best hostel I've ever stayed in. It has this 360 degree wide open view you can hear the ocean in the evening you can see the ocean in the day and it's just absolutely gorgeous rooftop common area and has it a kitchen where we make meals with uh friends and you um it's a great place to just work i get a lot of work done here the starlink is top notch i've zoomed for four hours so it's a great place for me to work it's quiet and i'm in love with this place so i decided to extend my stay here for now until i find a long-term apartment this is where i'm staying and um, we do yoga in the morning and the people here are generally different than the people you get in general luna they're more surfers they go to bed at nine they get up early at five they're quiet so it's a different type of crowd which i really love you can see here that we're doing yoga in the morning i just started stretching and then everybody wanted to start stretching with me this is like surf mobility that i'm doing um so it's kind of fun we all do stuff together we go out for dinner together so they have scooters you can rent surfboards all that stuff it's 19 it's 17 dollars a night us so the first ever ever hostel i walked into we were kind of nervous going into a hostel because we've heard all these things about about how dirty and, yeah. and like how weird it is but First ever one in Colombia, yeah. in Cali. Um, we walked in and it was like a 12 person room, so it wasn't even a small one, it was a big, a big hostel. And there was just some girl with her boobs out. <laughs> right. First ever hostel. <laughs> nice. And then, um, yeah. Took you was, by surprise. Yeah, and it was strange. And you were hooked ever since. Yeah. You're like, yeah. <laughs> See, there's two drawbacks to living here on the island. Some people might find a little annoying is one there's power outages that happen a couple times a week maybe 10 minutes sometimes they're longer there was one where it was out for like four or five hours but when that happens you know we just disconnect from our social media and it feels actually pretty good we go surfing we are if there's no waves we go surf skating if the uh, or we go drinking eating you can still cook the restaurants are still open on gas uh, burners so there's lots to do when the power goes out and um, just no AC. So, but you get hot, you just go in the ocean. So it's um, it happens once in a while. And I guess the other drawback is that when the power goes out, obviously you can't work. So it can be a little frustrating if you have to if you have a meeting or a Zoom meeting <laughs> or something. But other than that, um, it's those are the only two things really 
those are the two cons if I were to come up with some cons about living here on the island. Barber, uh, if you want to get a haircut, you're looking at 70 pesos for men, 100 pesos for women. And Matt got two tattoos on his wrist for 4,000 pesos. And they came out really nice. He's the only tattoo artist here in Pacifico at the moment. Usually like after a good session of surfing, like coconut or a... Uh, oh, cold coconut. Or a cold coconut, yeah. Or like a, sometimes beer goes, tastes really good after salty. Yeah. Salt and choking on the salt water. <clears throat> so you can see that see all the construction that's happening? There's like all the renos all the way down. Now this place is gonna blow up in a couple of years. <laughs> yeah. Over the next year to be honest. I was here two months ago and there was there's so many more buildings now than there was even two months ago. Yeah, I believe it. So I can't imagine what it's going to be like in a few years. In a few years, this place will be popping. If you go north of Pacifico, that's even more remote. And there's nobody up there for surfing. There's no crowds. There's nothing. So it's all, you'd be by yourself when it comes to surfing. Kinds of, here's a sample of lot, the land that's for sale. Okay, this is the kind of view that you would have. Where I am is in just north of Pacifico. If you're not familiar with Pacifico, it's a very northeastern part of Sargao. And it's just palm trees, jungle, mountains, beautiful sunsets. You must have seen like 30 lots for sale. And it is the absolutely most beautiful part of Sargao. There's nobody out here. It's just untouched jungle. The mountains on one side, ocean on the other. Hey, what's Probably one of the most special and distinctive things about living on this island that you won't see anywhere else is how the actual local Filipinos uh, treat you and treat each other. Um, they are the most kindest, incredibly happy, um, thoughtful, helpful people you'll ever meet. I can't believe how every time you walk down the street it will be hello hello how are you and they will go out of your way to help you if you need something if they can help you they will help you and it can be such a small thing or it can be a big thing and they help each other quite a bit so for example if I needed a scooter and they don't have a scooter they will f go down the road and ask their tell their friends that there's a guy that needs a scooter and they will try to get business for their friends so they're very helpful for each other uh, even you know for big things and little things and you just don't see that anywhere else in so as far as uh, finding a place to stay long term uh, it's been a little challenging I did here's I'm right actually now in a small small town way way north on Sargo Island there's, there's a homestay there see there I've been driving around just asking around if anyone has any homes for rent I haven't found any yet but um, so I'm still looking. I did find a home on Facebook for 250, I think it was around 250 US. But it wasn't really a home, it was more like an apartment. So, um, oh, we'll keep looking. Something might pop up. If not, we'll just keep doing the hostels. The hostels are a lot of fun for now. Okay, surfing. Can't talk about Sargao without talking about surfing. So I'll leave my favorite list of favorite surf spots in the description, but this actually is Bamboo, and this is where um, I usually go. It's really close to the hostel. And there is another spot that I absolutely love called Apex. Apex is in Burgas, which is north of Pacifico, and it's really remote. There's usually rarely anyone. This is Apex here. This is my favorite spot, surf spot and uh, you can see it's low tide right now but they has some great waves and uh, on when it's mid tide i wanted to show you something very special this is um, called kol kibo 
So it started out as a community kitchen during the Typhoon Odette. There was thousands of people uh, affected by the typhoon. So this soup kitchen would make a thousand meals a day uh, for probably January, February, March, April, and May. And now it's actually turned into my most favorite, favorite spot on the entire island. And this is actually someone's house. They've converted into a um, kind of a restaurant a rest stop. It's got smoothie bowls and has coffee. It has amazing coffee. It has amazing internet. I do a lot of work here. It has an amazing view and it's really remote. It's up north and um, I absolutely love it. So what I'll do is leave a list of all my favorite uh, restaurants and hostels and surf spots in the description below so you can take a look and hopefully that helps you on your um, decision on where to travel or try living next and I will see you in the next video. Talk to you later.